Guys and welcome back. It's Kay from Bagnall and I'm playing some Civ 5 today. We are continuing as the Songhai Empire. Uh, their leader is Askia and last episode we noticed this natural wonder here, Aluru. So we were drawn to that and I've got some settlers. I'm on my path to there and I found out the other day someone informed me that I actually can't settle next to this due to the fact that the city-state Cahokia its borders are not within uh, four four tiles I think it is or something like that so getting that wonder is actually going to be really hard so I'm thinking about actually moving maybe my guys down to the coast instead um, I'm probably going to come down to this coast the seas a bit more open I've got a bit more space down here or I could come back up here but I think the quickest way is down here and we've also got some natural resources down here so we've got some gold we've got some stone deer and bananas so here seems like a good place to me to come and set up so let's take a look at the leaderboard and as you can see i'm kind of in a big pack here china are actually getting themselves away a bit they're on 123 i'm on 102 uh, second is Boudicca and then and then we're there in like third place out of the civilizations that we've met so far I'm just gonna keep exploring with my spearmen and I'm gonna come and build a farm here to give me plus one food which will help my capital grow so I'm actually gonna bring these guys down here Whatever's the quickest way for them to do that. I'm going to bring these guys down here. Back into uh, Gaia. I want to kind of avoid that for the moment. A bit of a wimp. <coughs> so yeah. So far it's all looking quite good for us. I mean we've got the one city. We're going to have two cities soon, hope, hopefully. Hopefully nothing happens along the way. I'm playing a bit risky. I should really have, like, you know, maybe my archers waited for them to come down and escort my... Oh, we bumped into some barbarians there. But yeah, I should have probably have waited. And there we go. We've got some ranged attack there. Yeah, I should have waited for my archers maybe to escort my settlers across. But do you know what? I thought the quicker we get a city up, the better. I'll take the risk. I will be careful. I'm trying to avoid going too close to that. And I've also picked up there is a barbarian encampment there. So I don't want to get too close that way either. So I'm just going to bring this straight there. And hope for the best really. Hope I get this uh, second city up. It should help me in the point system. As you can see, my Rocco have overtaken me now. Uh, the only person really that's quite a bit behind is Sweden. I'm not really sure where they are. The barbarians are already firing on me. So there we go. Archery has been discovered. I love those voices. I think they're really good. Uh, let's bring him as far away from them as possible. And next of all, we're gonna we're gonna learn the wheel. Uh, I'm on a river. You see, I've got two actually beside me, so I'm right next to two rivers, and it's gonna give us extra food and production, which is really gonna help that city grow. These guys are getting much closer. And and the uh, the recommendation actually rec uh, you know recommends that spot for me. Whereas there were no recommendations around there, so maybe I'm doing the best thing here. We are building the Great Library, which is going to boost up my science, which is really good. I need that right now. And also it's going to give me a free technology, which is going to help as well. So these guys should be ready to attack next turn hopefully, we might give it one more turn. But they look like they're nearly there in number. Prague is under attack and Budapest desires the Stonehenge. Interesting. Alright now I'm, I'm not really fussed about city states and what their demands are. I'm more concerned with 
my own my own empire and trying to get it up as as quickly as I can so to do that for this city oh Tombok 2 I like that name I'm gonna stick with it and I'm gonna build the granary first I think that's the best choice my economic advisor advises that so we shall see what happens Uh, Gustavus Adolphus, so this is the Swedish man, and he wants me to accept an uh, an embassy. Uh, I'd, yep, I've accepted everyone else's. I'd like to know where they are. They're, the, they're all the way down here. I'm wondering if this is actually the middle of the map, and I'm in the top right corner. I'm guessing that is. I'm not sure. It looks that way. If you guys know the answer to this, please leave a comment in. Let me know. It would solve me a big problem, or just let me find out in the mystery of the game. I'm going to bring these guys down here. I need a bit of protection if they come that way, and they're really close to my workers. Uh, they're happy with us, and they've made friends because we found Sweden. These aren't going to be very happy with us because we've built Tombot too, probably a bit too close to their liking. And they've probably seen these luxury resources around here. They're going to get a bit jealous. We're on a river as well, which is going to help. Let's, let's heal them up while we can. And we'll go over there and we will build a pasture for our cat cattle. So let's have a look over here. These guys are pretty much fully healed. We're just going to go for it. They are fortified, so they're going to get a bit of extra strength, those barbarians. But we will crush them in the end. Let's have a look at my so So I've gone down the tradition route, as you can see. And you know, we're quite a bit off before we get... We're getting eight, eight, eight culture per turn. And it says 17 turns until we get our next policy. Uh, so that's quite interesting. And I think I'll probably end up... I don't really see monarchy being that great at the moment. My city isn't isn't that big, so it is only a five. It'll come in handy maybe when my city raises to eight, maybe ten, and maybe that's some, a, a point in the game where I should think about that. So for now, I could expand out to maybe another social tree. So they've actually brought up a galley, but that's not going to be able to affect me. So I'm going to go ahead and attack. Oh! And uh, construct the pasture. And I can actually found my first pantheon. So what would we like here? Fertility rights, 10% faster growth rate. That could be quite good. Um, I really don't know that much about these past uh, these pastures I mean pantheons um, plus one happiness from cities with population I don't have any of them at the moment one food from camps two science and cities with a city connection I'm actually looking between fertility rights for the 10% growth or the god king which is going to give me one of each of those, which is really going to help, I think. It's going to put my gold up to 10, my culture up to 9, uh, my research points, my science points, sorry, they're going to go up to 10. I think that's really going to help. So I'm actually I'm actually going to go for the God King. We founded that Pantheon. And there we go, we got the little uh, Harry Potter lightning bolt. That's interesting. So we'll go to the next turn. I did. I looked into Askia actually, and Askia means usurper. So for you Game of Thrones th fans out there, I uh, I guess in Game of Thrones terms, I will be playing as Robert Baratheon right now. So I'm actually going to heal and get a few more men, and then attack them again, and should be able to kill them in one. Uh, Shanghai there, down there. They've got another city actually as well, which is Shanghai, sorry, and Beijing. Beijing being their capital. So if you guys didn't spot that, they are there and they are, you know. Oh wow, we've shot right up. 
so is Assyria. Assyria is now leading. They went from second bottom to first place. So they've obviously built another city or something. They're doing something really good. They're getting a lot from population. Uh, but I think in four turns we'll shoot back up again once we get this wonder. That's going to give us give us a few points hopefully. I think they're quite critical in the game. Uh, Wu Zixian has entered the classical era. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing these names right. So we have researched that and our city, Tombok 2, is now a 2. It's still going to take 27 turns for the granary there. I wonder if I change that to... It's still going to take that long. Maybe if I bought a title such as that, that's going to bring it right down. Some, However, right now this city needs to grow I think definitely it needs to grow uh, some you see it's gonna really slowly grow there I'm gonna have to keep it on that for now but it's an option maybe in the future I mean this city here could do with growing a bit quicker than what it is but two more turns we'll put that back to default I'm now on the coast, so sailing's a good option. We can open up some trade, we can get some ships out there so I can figure out what this map's all about. And Gustavus Adolphus. Unfortunately things aren't going terribly well over here. Can you spare something for a friend? I'll try to return the favour when things are going better for me. So do we want to be nice to this guy? He's only asking for 78, which is quite a bit. I, oh, I don't really know what the effects of this are going to be. If I refuse, is he going to hate me if I accept? You know, it, will he remember it? Ultimately, I can't see him wanting to be friends with me when I'm going to be close to victory, if I get that far. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to refuse. I'm going to say I'm sorry. But they are... So Morocco announced to the world that he's now protecting Prague. So that's interesting. So these are being protected by, you yeah, know, by Morocco. At the moment, I'm only seeing Marrakech on my screen. So maybe they do only have the one city. Not really sure. Whoa, we shot right up there. We're now on 148. We've overtook everybody by quite a bit. And I should probably attack these guys now. It's only going to be a minor victory. But that should be should be enough for me to destroy them. I might go back into heal again. Just to be on the safe side. I'm not really sure yet. i decide that when the time comes. Milan is under attack. We're no longer friends with Kahuhika. Um... Yeah, we'll heal. We're not in any rush really with them. That can take as long as they need. Next turn we get our a uh, great library. Really gonna help us that is. And you see, here comes Morocco, they're on the they're looking, they're scouting out. And they're not gonna be too happy with us building a city here. Saints, full of virtue, and that without delusion or imposture are preserved and reposed. So the Great Library is going to give us one free technology. It's going to provide us with a free library in the city in which it is built. So that's in our capital. And it contains two slots for great works of writing. So... I'm going to actually open up the technology tree here. So these are the things that are furthest away, which is what probably is what I'm going to be looking. These are only four turns, you see, and that will probably go down as well. Mathematics, the Hanging Gardens is nice, which I have. 
The hanging orange is very nice, but I think I could build that quicker than anyone else could at the moment anyway. I think I'm going to go for philosoph uh, philosophy, sorry about that, uh, just because it's going to give me the mud pyramid mosque, which doesn't cost me any gold, all it's going to do is give me culture and faith, which, you know, right now the social policies are really coming in handy, so yeah. There is only one good, knowledge, and one evil, ignorance. Welcome to the classical. Oh, there we go. We're in the classical era now. We really got there quickly. I'm gonna actually go for the watermill first. Um, I mean, the oracle would be nice, but 18 turns is a bit too long for me at the moment. So I'm gonna go for the watermill. But I do need this city to grow again, so it's probably gonna take a. A little bit longer there we go seven turns one turn longer than, than it was before but that's cut down from being was it 17 turns before to 11 that's really good for us that's going to grow up to a seven soon and this tombok tool will be a three and let's have a look at the leaderboard now there we go 178 and the closest to us is china we have 150 which is good but it's also bad because it means that these guys are going to start getting angry towards us perhaps uh, they're not going to start liking me very much and there's the great library so they've actually gone up to a four but they're really behind Sweden are I mean it's actually he's caught up loads caught up a lot and he's got a lot of tundra around him so mm, I would rather be here than down there <clears throat> and I really need to destroy these guys now I keep forgetting about this down here I couldn't help but notice that you seem to be expanding into lands which I regard to be mine I request that you reconsider this there we go there's the Chinese being a bit angry towards us I ain't gonna take that so we'll settle what lands we please I have no more business with the likes of you then so she really doesn't like me right now uh, we're still on neutral Sweden we're friendly with which is nice so because they're actually right underneath them there we go sailing has been researched I'm currently just gonna attack these guys give us a bit of extra gold there as well it's gonna put us up to 600 and 665 wow uh, these guys should probably come down here we'll move you guys We'll put you there for now. Maybe I'll think about attacking them. So, possibly go for masonry, or should we go for mathematics? And then we can branch out into the hanging gardens. It seems like a good idea to me. Our happiness isn't that bad. Uh, so, that shouldn't be a problem right now. <coughs> Okay, so these are getting really close to us. I'm not quite sure if I like that or not. I don't know what their intentions are. We shall see. Kahokia is under attack. I'm going to heal these guys. Think about ringing them back. We'll construct a farm. We'll put you guys onto alert. Right. So our water mill is nearly done. And they've moved off. And probably people are, you know, we just seem to be going, you know, forward. Everyone else seems to be catching each other up, and we've really overtook everybody now. And the land's requesting aid. I feel a bit bad. I should maybe think about helping these guys out. You would like to set up an embassy in your capital? What do you think? These are the Assyrians now. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Uh, I quite like the idea of an embassy. Letting me know. So yeah, there's definitely a sea between us, but they're right there next to Boudicca. Uh, which is in Edinburgh. And that's, that city is only a three. I have literally just put this city up, Tombok 2, and that's a three. Uh, these guys are happy with us, Samankand. Sorry if I'm getting all the pronunciations wrong. So our next turn we get the watermill, which uh, is going to increase our food and production. And once that is complete, I think I'm going to end the video there, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave some comments, suggestions, hints, if there's any sieves that you want me to take a look at. By all means, let me know, and I will definitely get onto that. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching.